All right, we may as well get started. Um, welcome. Thank you for coming back this week. Um, hopefully by now you've all taken your exam and seen how you did. So I want to spend a few minutes talking about that. So first, let's see. All right. Let me share my screen. And hopefully you can see the grade distribution there. Can everybody see it? Anybody see it? Just wave. Okay, good. So the average grade was just under 19. That's out of 30. Um, the highest grade was 25. The lowest grade was 11. A lot of range between those things. All right. So now you can sort of see where you stand. Um, what I like to say is this is not the end of the first exam. It's kind of the middle. Um, I want to remind you about the test corrections that you can do. Um, what I want you to do, what I invite you to do is look over your exam and look at the questions that you got wrong and figure out what the right answers are. Once you can do that, make an appointment to see me. You can meet, we can meet in my office face to face, or we can have a little video chat, whatever is convenient for both of us. Um, and then um, what I want you to do is explain to me the right answers for each of the problems that you got wrong. If you do that, I'll get, give you half a point for each one that you explain correctly. So you can actually um, earn back a lot of points that way. Okay, does that make sense? Anybody have questions about that? All right. Um, so the deadline for that is next Friday, Friday a week. So that's nine days. Um, what you should try to do is make your appointment with me as early as possible because my appointments will fill up. If everybody waits until that last day, Friday, I have 92 students in multiple sections. I can't possibly do 92 students interviews in one day. Heck, I can't probably even do half of those. Um, so make your appointments early. And also, um, the earlier we meet, the better. Um, that's just kind of a practical idea. Um, at the beginning, I will be excited to talk to you. Um, but by a week from Friday, I will be tired of hearing the same stories over and over again. Um, you know, so you have a better chance of making your case uh, if we met, say, this week or early next week than later towards the deadline. Does that make sense to everybody? Hopefully. Okay. All right. Now, let me see. What I'm looking for here, next step, not there. Let's, let's try here. All right. Okay, so this week, and uh, this week is week five, but we are just starting topic four, the role of money in the financial system. Um, even though it looks like we're a week behind, we're not because, um, because we have the whole rest of this week with nothing to do in order to catch up. Um, and then, then the topic for the topic five is actually pretty short. Um, so don't worry, we're not really behind. It just may feel that way. Okay, so the reading for next week is first module, uh, module 12 on money and banking. Um, and then please read the Spectre article. It's an article from the Wall Street Journal. Uh, sorry, it's an article from the Washington Post. So it's a fairly quick read. Um, most students find it pretty interesting. Um, and it's, it's way more fun than just working through the module. All right, now I wanted to, to um, mention a couple things about that. Um, all right, back to seeing my face, hopefully. Um, all right, where is that? Okay. Um, f 
first, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the first um, online discussion that we had. Um, I know there were some hiccups. Um, that's kind of why I have one to begin with um, so that we can get the hiccups out of the way. Um, one thing that I noticed was over half the class didn't participate, which is not good. Um, most of the people who did participate only posted once, okay? So here's my question for you. When you have a discussion with friends, how often do you speak? Or let me put it differently. How often do you only speak one time in your discussion with your friends? Somebody needs to answer here. I'm just going to stay. Huh? Sammy? Not often do you. Not often, speak. right. Oh, sorry. So yeah, you need to, you need to actually talk things through. Um, and, and we barely got any of that um, this, this time around. Okay. Again, that's why we have a practice one. Okay. So, um, so I, I just put up a second online discussion. Um, we're going to do it over the next week. Um, the discussion is based on that Spectre article, so you need to read the article in order to play the game, okay? Um, so um, the discussion is up, it is live, it is ready to go, um, and the goal of the discussion is for us to come up with a succinct definition of what money actually is. Um, money is something that we all think we understand because we've been using it all of our lives. However, when you try to define it in words, sometimes it's harder than you think. And I think we'll discover that in the discussion. Um, but the article is fun and the discussion uh, is probably going to be fairly fun. Um, so I look forward to doing that. Um, does anybody have any questions about the discussion? All right. Does any ha anybody have any questions about anything? Oh, one other comment. Um, please do homework five before you show up for test corrections, because I do read those things over to see what you think about how you studied for and responded to the exam. So that's kind of important. So please do that before, before we get together. You don't have to wait to do that to make the appointment. Just make sure you turn in your, home, your assignment before the appointment occurs. Probably not a problem, but I just wanted to mention that. All right. Let's see. I just got an email. Um, let's see. The, um, Okay, so this person said, um, I'm currently working through the test corrections um, and was wondering how detailed you would like us to go into um, our explanations. Uh, the answer is, um, this is not a test. This is a conversation, a discussion, if you will. So you start talking and I will ask questions to draw out the right answer, okay? Um, so I can't really answer how detailed do you want it to be. I want it to be detailed enough to explain why the right answer is right. Um, and then lastly, I was wondering if you'd prefer it be handwritten or typed up for when we see you. The answer is you're not turning in anything. So I don't care whether it's handwritten or typed up. You're just talking. You're explaining the answer to me with your voice. Um, in fact, uh, you know, it's possible that you'll have nothing prepared. You'll just do it cold. That's not generally what I recommend, you know, but maybe if you got only one question wrong, you could, you know, sort of memorize what you're going to say. So, you know, that wouldn't be a problem. All right. Um, okay. So any questions about the exam, about test corrections, about what we're going to be doing over the next week? When in doubt, drink more water, right, Courtney? I hear you. <laughs> I 
Last chance for a week. So the only thing we're supposed to be working on this week is module 12? It's, well, it's, it's the module on money and banking. Okay. Okay, so um, it, if you're going to the website to find your content, it is labeled module 12. Um, if your if your content is if your modules are in Canvas, then there it's in the right order. It's the next one. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Good question. I'd always rather that you asked rather than get confused. Anybody else? Um, the test corrections with our group. When are they due exactly again? Um, I think I said Friday um, or, or this weekend. The, okay. the point the point for that really is that um, that's to help you prepare for your test corrections so that you can talk out the problems that you got wrong with your group so that once the group has figured out all the right answers and how to explain them that makes the test corrections easier okay because I know our group had a little bit of difficulty finding time to meet so I was just making sure no you got time okay thank you Maeve, what's that hat you're wearing? It's a Mary Wash hat. Is it? Oh, okay. I didn't recognize. Uh, you know, I it didn't look like Mary Wash colors to me. No, it's not. Well, the logo is. I don't think they have this one anymore, though. No. That's okay. You look very comfortable there. I am. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where I want to be shortly. <laughs> Anybody else have questions? All right, Morgan, what's for dinner tonight? Looks like finger food. What's that? No, it's my. Oh, you're you're on the you're you're taking your break again. I recognize the lockers. Okay, that's cool. I am taking my break. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, if nobody has any more questions, I'm happy. Week. I think next week I'm with. You're cutting in and out, right, um, Morgan? You're cutting in and out. Oh, my bad. No, it's okay. It's okay. It must be sketchy Wi Fi in the back room there. So, yes. all right. If, if nobody has any more questions, I'm perfectly happy to go start cooking dinner. Um, and I will see you guys next week. Have a great night. Bye. You too. Bye bye.